So I'm going to talk a bit about uh, the different options for lenses and shutters and film when using one of these old cameras here. Um, if you want to have it as original as possible, which means using the old brass lenses and old shutters, then uh, there are some limitations. Uh, if you're shooting with glass plates, you basically don't need a shutter. Your lens cap will be all you need because you'll have an ISO of 2, 3, maybe 5, and your exposure will be counted in seconds. So you can just take it off, count off the seconds, put it back on, and that's it. Um, you can also use these old uh, curtain shutters, but in my experience, they require a lot of work to be anywhere near reliable. So if you want to use brass lenses, personally I would recommend getting one of these, which is an old universal shutter, which screws onto a brass lens, like so. Exposure. However, these are one speed and one speed only, and that's typically about one thirtieth or one fortieth. What I prefer personally instead is using old lenses in compound shutters like this one. You can get great lenses and great shutters that still work fine, uh, lenses from the 30s or 40s and you'll get some more control over time, time and aperture, like this. But some people don't like that, they want it original, and uh, I understand that. Now as far as your medium for taking the picture, these cameras uh, work with these old wooden holders, which are of course designed for glass plates. And you can make your own plates. You can either mix your own emulsion and put it on, or you can buy a ready-made emulsion. But uh, for me, it is very time-consuming uh, to make an emulsion and to coat the plates. Uh, it's hours and hours of work to get to get just enough for a couple of photo sessions. So I prefer using film instead. Now, a lot of people will tell you that, ah, oh, you can't do that, and uh, these old holders aren't light-proof anymore, and it won't work, but uh, I don't agree. Often these holders will need a bit of work, but uh, just painting the inside of this door, in my experience, is plenty. And uh, I prefer to use film most of the time. Now this is a 13 by 18 centimeter camera, and you can get film for this still, or you can buy, uh, or you can use expired film. And I put a black glass plate in the holder. Now, typically, if, if this was real life, I would be doing this uh, in the dark and with latex gloves, as not to uh, make marks on the emulsion here. Just push it in, a light touch there, and this is now perfectly flat. And you can quickly load a whole bunch of these to take with you. Now, I know there are some people who will be appalled that I'm touching my film, and they'll claim that I'm destroying the film, and uh, yeah, well, in my experience, you have to be really rough with today's emulsions. If it's a modern emulsion, like an Ilford film, you have to be really rough with it to make any kind of marks on the film. Use gloves, use light touch, and you'll be just fine. And, uh, well, I guess that's about it. Thank you.